Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the See You Up For You channel. A bit of breaking news, but it's not really a breaking news video. This is just sort of a recap of loads of things that have happened in the last week that I didn't think was enough to make a breaking news, but I thought I'd put them all in one ahead of the season starting later on today against Fleetwood. What do you think your predictions are for the Fleetwood game? Let me know in the comments down below. But let's get into these sort of breaking news videos. First bit, Paul Huntington will be Carlisle United's captain for the remainder of the season. Um, I think that was pretty nailed on, to be fair, since Feeney left. I thought Huntington deserved it. I think you've got a lot of leaders already in the dressing room. You've got Callum Guy, Joe Garner, you know, Hunt, obviously. Sam Lavelle's came in. I think Jack Armour plays a big part in that. I think Thomas Hawley, um, so Mellish as well as uh, Corey Whelan. You see, there's loads, there's loads. But Paul Huntington will wear the armband for Carlisle United this season. Um, other bits of thing: Brendan Dickinson has signed for Oldham Athletic, and um, probably about his level, I would say he, he'll do well at Oldham if he can find a position to play in. Toby Saul Silver has signed for Maidenhead United. Um, quite surprised that Saw Silver didn't get a gig in League 2 at least. Um, but great lad on and off the pitch. So I think he'll do really well at Maidenhead. So good luck to Toby. Uh, Max Kilby has signed for Annan Athletic on loan. Um, obviously that's where he was for the back end of last season. And he's went back out there on loan to Annan. Um, so best of luck to Max as well. And of course to Brendan Dickinson. Um, there, Cal United also have a sleeve sponsor for the season, which is on your screen. Well, I mean, there's lots of things on your screen. It's going to be like a rotation of all these little bits of breaking news. But we've got a sleeve sponsor, uh, for next season. That is Peter Tyson. Um, I hope they don't sell it like that in the club shop because I don't think it looks like that nice. If I'm being honest, just sort of the big patch pasted onto the sleeve but it's great to keep these sponsors going and these local sponsors so that is brilliant some more sponsorship changes the pioneer stand is now the andrew jenkins stand i think a lot of people are getting sort of worked up about it i'm not really bothered to be fair it's just a stand at the end of the day um so the pioneer stand now the andrew jenkins stand but if i if i'm not mistaken andrew jenkins it's something to do with Pioneer Foods anyway. Um, and he was given the Pioneer stand as sort of sponsorship for the club. So that is now the Andrew Jenkins stand. Don't think that is really a big thing to be bothered about, really. I think a lot of people were getting themselves worked up for nothing. He's given 64 years of service to the club, which is absolutely unbelievable. Um, and he's kept the club going. With, you know, he's put so much of his own money in. Um, yes, I know we're in debt and, you know, some things may be being handled differently elsewhere. But, you know, that's a that's a co topic of conversation for a different video. This one's just to say that the, the Pioneer stand has been renamed. Uh, also, the one with Rodend, uh, the lads obviously did a great job last season in painting the stand. They got the blue in, you know, they painted the um, hand railings and everything like that. And now it's got a grey roof on it. Um, as is, this is bit this is old news. A lot of people have already seen this, but yeah, the the stand now is has a grey roof. Um, I actually quite like. It. I think it looks quite nice, but I think it kind of does defeat the object of the lads coming in and painting the place blue and everything like that. Uh, but I think it looks really nice. The grey roof. I think it's a bit different. Um. But yeah, that's my opinion. Some, some of you may disagree with me there and it should stay blue or whatnot. But I do completely understand that, you know, why paint the whole thing blue and do the handrails and make it all dead smart. Just have a different colour roof on there. Um, I think we should definitely look into the waterworks and the paddock getting redone out as well because, you know, it looks great in the Warwick, but then the rest of it just looks a bit old. But yeah, last but not least, we've got the squad numbers for the 2023-24 season. Now, bear with me as I go through all uh, uh, all of these numbers. I believe there's 27 to get through. I could be wrong there, but I believe there's 27. Um, well, it goes up to 27 anyway. Number one is Thomas Hawley. Number two, Finn Back. Number three, Jack Armour. Number four, Owen Moxon. Number five, Sam Lavelle. Number six, Paul Huntington. Number seven, Jordan Gibson. Number eight, Callum Guy. Number nine, Ryan Edmondson. 10, Alfie McCarmont. 11, Dan Butterworth. Number 13, Gabe Breeze. Number 14, Joe Garner. So he's dropped the number 40. Was he, what was he last year? 41, I think. So he's number 14 now. Number 15, Taylor Charles. Number 16, Jaden Harris. Number 17, Corey Whelan. Number 18, Jack Ellis. Number 19, Jack Robinson. Number 20, Max Kilby, as just discussed, as went out to Annan. Number 21, Dylan McGrath. I can't say his name, so if anyone could tell me how to pronounce his name, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll probably get it wrong later on in the season but for now no idea number 22 john mellish number 23 kai nugent number 24 sean Maguire, number 26 ben barkley and number 27 luke plunge which means number 12 
And number 25 are there and available and that is also on your screen at some point in this video as well so you can see that visually um instead of me just quickly going through it there but there you go there's some breaking news bits that i didn't think deserved a video by itself so i thought i'd give you a saturday morning video ahead of the season starting at three o'clock this afternoon again what are your predictions let me know in the comments down below i've did a five minute preview of the fleetwood game so if you haven't watched that go and watch it already what a season we've got ahead. League One football, Carlisle United. I can't wait to bring you guys vlogs, predictions, reviews, loads of things this season, loads of things coming. So stay tuned. If you're new, why not hit that subscribe button? And yeah, for now, I've been CU04. Enjoy the footy wherever you are off today. Enjoy the football. Fingers crossed, Carlisle and get three points. And I've been CU04, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night. I never miss that stack Taking big swings Put your hand in the back Put me in the ring You'll go out in a bag Cause I sing what I mean And I bring it to the mad life